Aloha, this is a warning. You should probably change the radio dial. The Bear Wastic Adventure is on the air. I know there's a, probably a nice soft rock station you can listen to or some sort of soothing elevator music. Much preferred to the Bear Wastic Adventure because here we challenge you to manly virtue. We invite you to abandon yourself to the wild adventure of God's will, the most radical thing you can do in life. We'll be right back with the Bear Wastic Adventure, so change this dial while you can. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Aloha. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. There's nothing more exciting then abandoning yourself to God's will. Does that mean that God's always going to have you paddle out and surf big surf or or do something uh, like maybe rappel out the side of your your uh, 25 foot 25 floor condo like I did in Waikiki? Probably not. I think one of the most exciting things you can do in life probably probably is the most exciting thing you can do in life is to have a child, is to have a baby, to bring an eternal being into existence. People come up to me sometimes and they say, well, you have such an adventurous life. And I get pulled between wanting to go out and have all these adventures and and my family and having to take care of them and working two jobs. And I go, are you kidding me? That's the greatest adventure of all is to have the kuleana, the responsibility of raising, um, raising up an eternal being in a way that you can bring them to heaven with you. Uh, and and spend eternity with him. It was, it's an incredible, incredible adventure to be in God's will. But don't don't always. But don't think about it always as being something like an extreme sport. It's 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 uh, it's something deeper and m- much more marvelous than that. When my son Jeremiah surfed eighty five foot waves, it definitely changed his life forever. It definitely was an adventure. Uh, starting this radio show was a great adventure. I didn't. I felt a nudge from the Lord, and I moved on it. And sometimes when you feel that nudge, it's not the Lord. It's just your own sort of or my own ADHD. But a lot of times I've learned over time as I move on inspiration, I see God as I'm moving begin to direct my path. Like it's so hard to balance a bicycle until you start pedaling it. Once you start pedaling it, you can turn it and direct it. It's like the old cars that didn't have power steering. You couldn't turn those wheels of those cars. But once you started moving, you could turn it. Move on inspiration, whether it's about uh, something special for one of your children or starting a men's group in your church or starting a radio show or a radio station. Move on inspiration and let God adjust and calibrate that, that, that trajectory and get ready for a, a, an adventurous, adventurous life. There's nothing more exciting than seeing God move in your life and seeing God move in other people's lives. We have a guest today with us. I uh, had the privilege of being with Dave Dawson, the president of a Catholic network over there in Baton Rouge radio network. He he's he made the mistake of carrying my radio show as part of the EWTN <laughs> broadcast. Um, and we were at the EWTN radio uh, conference a couple weeks ago. And, you know, the first thing I look for is a place to go have a cigar and have a quiet time, prayer time or, or to read. And uh, that hotel where they hold that that conference now has this warning. The pool area where I used to go says closed for bad weather, and it's 80 degrees and a beautiful day, but <laughs> no place. So I'm, I'm kind of out in the back where the uh, – not not the best area to have a cigar, but it was sunny, and I was reading a book, and I said, I'll, I'll bring an extra cigar just in case someone shows up. And Dave Dawson must have had a cigar uh, radar on because he file, he found me and came over. We started talking. We – we shared a cigar, and then we uh, ended up uh, spending a good two or three hours together. Dave Dawson, the president and head janitor, you said, of what radio network is it again, Dave? <laughs> Catholic Community Radio. And uh, we're in uh, New Orleans. We're in Baton Rouge. Well, we have two radio stations in Baton Rouge, a low-power FM, and then AM in Baton Rouge, and then a beast of an uh, AM in, in the New Orleans area. covers a lot of the Gulf Coast. Sounds like a pretty cushy job. Oh, yeah, it's a breeze, Bear. <laughs> I wanted to grow up and be Bear Wozniak, and uh, God took me in another direction <laughs> altogether. I wanted to ride waves. I wanted to ride my bike Let's across go do the it. country. You Let's know. go do it. Yeah, Let's well. go do it. <laughs> he all had I, other plans for me, Bear. All I know is that in my days of when the radio show first launched, and I, 
I drove from radio station to radio station. I think I probably went to 20 different places yeah. across the country and uh, wanted to uh, share with them my radio show to see if they would carry it independent of the EWTN network. Mm-hmm. And then when I finally got to EWTN, they said, hey, we want your show. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, um, But um, in doing that, I discovered who the re- some of the the gnarliest people I've ever met are people who launched these radio stations, and mm-hmm. you're one of those. Uh, yeah. to, can, when it, we were having those cigars, you told me that story. Uh, can you, I mean, it was, it was so easy, right? It was a breeze. Just no problem. We said, let's start a radio station, and we did. No, it didn't work that way at all. Tell us, tell <laughs> us the backstory about the why, and then about, tell us about the how. Well, I can tell you the, the first, I, I was already in business for myself. I had a legal clerical service, which pretty much I was a paralegal on wheels. I, I, I took all the paperwork from the attorneys, and I would bring it to the courthouse. I would file it, record it. I would do everything but go to court for these guys. You know, so and it, was, it, it was a great business, you know. Um, it called for me to be in my uh, vehicle a lot, and so I was always listening to the radio stations, and I was always thumbing around and, you know, all the different – the different types of talk shows and such and um, came across uh, a Christian radio station here in Baton Rouge. Uh, This evangelist is headquartered in Baton Rouge. Uh, It's a rather large one and you may uh, recognize the gentleman's name, but it was his, it's his entire family that, uh, that uh, has this. And I listen to this radio station every now and then because I want to see what they have to say about the Catholic faith. And it's not good. It's not good. They, they're, they're not too, uh, they're not a big fan of the Catholic faith. And uh, they let you know that. And so a good friend of mine uh, happened to uh, give me a call and say, I am going to send you an email that I am going to send to this radio station and lovingly explain our Catholic faith. Because Not, some, so much what they say, they, they don't understand, and so they misrepresent. Absolutely. If, they believed, if we believed what they tell, tell people we believed, I, I wouldn't be a Catholic. I wouldn't be Catholic either. Right. No, you're right. absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. So— uh, so he was he was going step by step, you know, uh, about uh, you know uh, we don't worship saints, you know, and we venerate, you know, and and you, you just 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 talking about the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist and and uh, along those lines. So he sent me the email and he said, "I'm going to send this in. What do you think?" I said, "Well, golly, sure, go right ahead. You know, good luck." And um, it was a, it was a, it was a couple of weeks later, and I'm in my car, and once again, I'm just going around all my radio stations, and I just happened to tune in, and I'm hearing one of the panel there uh, reading a, a letter to them, and she's saying, "And listen to what he's saying about those people worshiping saints," and she went on and reading his words, and oh, they were just getting angrier and angrier, and uh, I I pulled over, I called my friend and said, "Get on the radio quick." You're famous. Turn it on. You know, you're nationwide. And he, he was pretty tickled. We, we had a good time with that. We had a good laugh. We met after mass for coffee and donuts. And uh, that's very spiritual. Well, <laughs> coffee and donuts. You bet. <laughs> but I, I bet I bet that's the one thing they don't they don't object to about the because they probably do that, too. Right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, we did. We were having coffee and donuts, having a great time. And uh, 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 talking about that. And then it just came out. He said, why don't we have a Catholic radio station? You know, we don't we don't have to tell anybody what they're uh, right from wrong. We we just have to explain our faith. That's really all we have to do because it's the truth. It it's our our faith is solid enough to where there's nothing to really argue about. We just explain our faith. As, as I, Augustine I, as Augustine said, right? The truth is like a lion. Just speak it; it'll defend itself. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So so we um, I just said, sure, why not? What do we do? Let's do it. Uh, not having a clue what to do. I mean, I've been on the radio a few times before, this is getting, but that, that's about this it. This is getting kind of boring, Dave, because I've heard, <laughs> I've heard the same story, almost this identical story. With, isn't it true? With oh. almost every person at the conference of the hundreds of radio stations out there, right? it's almost the identical story. Someone made the mistake of thinking, I'm not very happy with this. You yeah. know, I don't know why we don't have a Someone should start a Catholic radio station, and then they get a little shove in the middle of their back. You know? Yeah. Why oh, don't no, you you're, do you're it yourself? <laughs> well, we, we wound up uh, uh, getting together. We would meet uh, once a week at a coffee shop. There that's the correct way to incubate a new venture, once a coffee week. Coffee shops. Coffee shops. <laughs> well, that's right. That's right. It's and, true. And 
we 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 eventually we found out all the things that we could not do uh, after a whole lot of research. For one thing, you had to have money. We didn't have that. Uh, and then you you couldn't just up and say you know let's 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 start a radio station. The FCC doesn't work that way. Uh, you have to have an opening. So we knew we weren't going to be able to purchase or build an, a radio station outright. So we what we did was we were able to buy time on a small radio station uh, south of Baton Rouge, and uh, and put together a local show. We called it Around the Parish. And uh, I, w- I would go around with my laptop recording and interviewing priests and lay people from all around the place. And we would we would insert this in the time that we would buy, praying that we grow from there and, and knowing we needed to grow from there. That's so and, cool. And, 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 you, and you also, in the process of that mustard seed sort of faith and growth, uh, you get to make small mistakes oh. instead of making big mistakes. You can start out small. Yeah. Uh, in the small things, be faithful in the small things, and I'll give you charge over greater. We're talking so, with Dave Dawson, and he is the president of what is the net, the network called again? It's Catholic Community Radio Network, and it's in the and you, it's in the Baton Rouge area. You have two, all of Southeast we, Louisiana. Yeah, it's it's yeah. booming all over. Um, yeah. Two AM stations, and then a another a type low of, power FM in a lower power right. FM station. You can get started with Catholic, getting a Catholic radio station with a low power FM station. There's a real mm-hmm. push now from EW10 to do that. We're, this is the Bear Wozniak adventure. I want to invite everybody. I want to invite the men out there. There's something really cool we're going to talk about with Dave Dawson coming up when the men get together and have a, a, a man's night and cigars in their area. Well, we have something like that. We call it the Bear, Bear's Man Cave. It's a secret Facebook group, but people always take the detour. They go straight to the Facebook group or try to join. You can't do it that way. You have to go to deepadventure.com, check out Bear's Man Cave, and then you can join there. And when you do that, we send you a copy of my book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue, and um, and we give you access to the Man Cave. And when you do that, you have access to these other men just like you who challenge, encourage, inspire each other, ask for prayer requests. And, uh, and, and share with us their own challenges. And then every two or three weeks, we have a two-way video chat. We go over one of uh, a, a few of the pages of one of my books, but we, we just kind of catch up on each other. And then we, uh, then we talk about the virtues. So we would love for you to consider joining the Man Cave. Uh, it's a real, a real great way to, to get to know other men and then have them inspire you to start your own local men's group. So we'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. That's right. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN, and you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak Adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. I want to thank those people who are who support our ministry. We have individuals that are members of Bear's Man Cave who help support our ministry. And then we have a lot of Patreon donors, too. Uh, you can go to, to uh, patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure, and you can uh, help support us. Our Long Ride Home TV show, EWTN, pays for about a third of that to be produced. And our radio show uh, is not uh, not provided for in any way by the network. So it's provided for uh, by people like you. So I'm going to give a shout out to some of our donors right now. Uh, Jerry Cohn, a good friend of mine. Frank Sweeney, they're members of the Founders Circle. Arturo Aragon, Brian Kubinski, Chris Stanfield, 
Earl Schaub, Kent Landry, uh, thank you so much because it's because of you that we're able to do our ministry and you become a part of our outreach by, by giving. It's a form of spiritual warfare. Uh, the church teaches almsgiving. So we appreciate your, your uh, participation with us. We're talking with Dave Dawson. You know all about that, right? Well, how important it is uh, for people to uh, give where they're receiving, right? You have, you're a hundred percent provided for by donors. We are. Radio we are. We, well, we have underwriters as well, but uh, they consider themselves donors because they don't support us. Uh, underwriter is like advertising. And advertise, uh, underwriters, they're not supporting this radio station and putting their spots that we call them on the radio station for publicity. They're doing it because they believe in the mission of what we're doing there. And and this and, and the majority of our donation, majority of our income is from uh, donations and uh, folks that believe in the mission. It's been beautiful because, again, we started off without a penny. Well, I want to hear about that. So now you say, okay, we're going to start it, and you started this off by doing a, buying an extended amount of time on, a, on, a, on another radio, on a radio station. Right. <clears throat> kind of learning, learning uh, as you go. And then uh -huh. how did it, how did it, what, what happened next? I'm actually saying this to people because it's not so much, God may be calling you to ca start a, a Catholic radio station, but whatever venture God's calling you to, you're going to go through these same steps that Dave went through as far as... Absolutely. So Absolutely. You, so, uh, and most of it is Caraggio, just courage. Well, well prudence I, I too. guarantee you, I wasn't qualified. And so, yeah, uh, yeah it, it, you're absolutely right. I was definitely out of my element. In fact, uh, in buying time on this radio station, uh, the uh, owner, not the owner, but the manager of the radio station, the owner, the owner lived off uh, in, in another city. But the manager of the radio station, he called me up and said, we need to have a meeting. And so I went to his, uh, I went to the station, of course. It's, it's out of town, but I went to the station, and I'm visiting with him. And uh, he said, uh, I need you to sign a longer contract with the radio station for your show because your show is popular, but I'm training a new manager, a new general manager for the radio station. And uh, I said, I will get I will get to work on it right away. And I, I came home, and, you know, I I – found a lawyer and we were we were really working on this to where we can get a good contract going and it was about a week later he called back in and said um i i can't seem to get this uh gentleman to it's it's just not working i i, I don't think i'm going to hire him after all would you like to run a radio station mm -hmm. and i said yes of course so and i don't know why okay. i said that i mean i just tried to put the words back in my mouth you know mouth. it's the I holy mean, spirit right you're just like I, what you know, <laughs> what did i just say you know so uh, uh, I said, great. Uh, you're certainly we're going to train me on how to run a radio station. He said, absolutely. I'll tell you everything you need to know. And I said, great. And uh, uh, when do I start? Uh, when uh, how, how long do I uh, have? And he said, well, I'm retiring and I'll be leaving in 10 days. So I so said, you turn uh, this button up, you turn this yeah. button down and now you got a radio station. Oh, he my told goodness. you everything yeah. you needed to know. Uh, you know, you, you talk about. Uh, so I really had to run around to all my clients and to make sure they were taken care of in another way, you know, by, by there was cause of the other businesses out there and everything. Right. So I, I, I did my homework as quick as I could, you know, but, but this is flying without a net and God bless my wife. She is behind this all the way saying you have oh, to do it. this. She I sees know. God's will in this, yeah, you know, amen. because I was I yeah. still doing my job yet doing the radio shows. But now she says, no, this is an opportunity. It's like, we have no income what you realize we're going to have no income and uh she believed in it so immediately uh i i, I went to training if you will at this radio station and uh i had to drive uh, an hour away uh from my house uh, to this little radio station that was barely kept alive i mean we're talking paper clips and duct tape uh, holding this uh, little radio station together but uh uh he said uh well, good luck. Keep us on the air. See you later. And took off. And so, that so is the you baptism didn't, by you didn't fire. own it yet, but you were going to get to run it the way you wanted to run it. Certainly more Catholic programming, too. So uh, yeah, I immediately exactly. yeah. <laughs> started working on changing the schedule and really, yeah, Barry, you, you talk about adventure. You you talk about uh, uh, scared to death, but uh, and a lot of long hours. And a lot of times I came home just saying, I don't know how I, I can do this. I just don't know how. I can keep this up. And my wife said, um, this is considered a boot camp. You know, right, you got to consider exactly. this boot camp for what you're, what, what, you know, something good is going to happen. And amazing things uh, began to happen. And it really has to do with uh, hurricanes. Uh, how much, do, do I have time for this, Bear? Or do you, I want to yeah, make sure? I think it's okay. so important to tell this story because right. it, it, this will help us, our prayer warriors out there that pray for EWTN, 
Pray for the radio stations, too. And for those of you that are on a journey of faith yourself, listen. And uh, you, you're not the only crazy person you're out there. You're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> crazy indeed. That's right. That's right. We had we had a couple of storms. You may have heard of Katrina uh, coming mm. through and uh, doing a real hurt on New Orleans. And uh, we, we in Baton Rouge took care of a lot of New Orleans people here. But then uh, uh, the next year, Hurricane Gustav uh, hit the Baton Rouge area and really pretty much tore up the place. Uh, and what had happened was, is a few radio stations, we were always searching for a radio station we could own, a good, strong one. And there was a particular AM station in the Baton Rouge area that we really wanted. We, we really wanted bad. Well, it turns out Hurricane Gustav knocks it off the air. Wow. And uh, they say, we don't know if we're going to come back or not. Well, immediately I hit the phone. I call New York. And they said, yes, the station is for sale if you have a million dollars. It's like, well, we don't have a million dollars. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we certainly – the, the, every, every, all the equipment uh, was on a piece of property that was leased. The towers were on a piece of property that were leased. So all the figures just didn't add up no, at it all. Yeah. And, and so we had a little prayer group that was uh, praying for us, a little group of ladies. They were awesome. Okay, let's talk about those ladies. All right. Okay. These was, are the ones that change the world. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. And oh, my. Yeah, go they, ahead. Tell me. They've been praying for us all along because they believe in the mission and the evangelization. Well, that, of our, uh, when, of I, our when, 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 when doors open and, 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 and walls fall down around me, I know it's because of the ladies. Yeah. The, the, the ones that I see in the pew uh, uh, early before mass. That's the ones. And that's the, and the ones. That, that, and, the, and the men, too. Yeah. It's those yeah. people that you, that you sometimes are almost feeble. They're getting older a lot. But they've learned they've learned the value of prayer. They're they're really our prayer. They're our ever our 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 energizer bunnies in a sense. Their prayers, That's you know. Right. Absolutely. Well, they had pulled me aside. Uh, with, there, there was a function that uh, that I had attended, and they'd pulled me aside saying, "How is it going uh, well, with your search for a radio station?" And I said. Uh, well, not well, because this particular radio station, is, it's a little high. It's off the air, but we really want that. And they said, do what Mother Teresa used to do. Get a miraculous medal and place it somewhere on the property and pray and pray to Mary. If this be your will, you know, Mary, please help us to get this radio station and uh, or, or whatever ministry that, that that is needed. So I did. I got a miraculous medal and I called up. Uh, someone who knew where the, in the radio business who knew where the towers were located, and he told me, "You you cross the Mississippi River, you take a right, you take a left, you go down this little country it's road, usually and way out the in the boondocks." Yeah, yeah, right. they have to be really, you know, because of their towers. So, I did, and I went out and I found the towers, and I I, I put the I put put the metal down and I prayed, and just said, "Well, there you go." I I, I gave it to Mary, and so. Uh, it was about a week later I had called up to see maybe if the possibly if, if the price had gone down any. And they said, yes, it has gone down. It's gone down to $750,000, but you still have to rent the property and you still have to you know, at least the property. And, and uh, essentially really what, they're, the sell, what they're selling you is basically the license, the paper. That was that was pretty much yeah. it. And it turns out the right like, to well, do it. The FAA license, right? Because right? because yeah. everything needed to be rebuilt and you don't own the tower or the land. Mm -mm. So no. it's a license. Yeah. No, so uh, uh, really, that was it. Was still it was just out of the picture. So but it was a little disappointing. We're talking you know. with Dave Dawson. He's the president of Cat. The, I have to put my glasses on to read this. The Catholic Community Community Radio, radio yes. Network in the coming out of Baton Rouge is huge, huge radio station there. I, I visited it, and uh, you know, um, we want to. Uh, we're going to continue this because I think this story is so mm -hmm. engaging and so important okay. to to see how a, a, a someone walks in faith. And then you see the Lord just open the doors. It's something that every one of us has a part in in in, an, in a venture like this, especially those who are the prayer warriors. We don't want to invite you guys. We just did a big update to our web store, deepadventure.com web store. My books are there. Bet one of them is a, was an Amazon bestseller, Deep Adventure. I mean, Deep in the Wave, a surfer's guide to the soul. It's a great book to give uh, to people who uh, they might sneak up on them. They may, they may not know that they're getting a book about uh, Christianity or Catholicism. And deep in the virtue, uh, deep adventure, the way of heroic virtue, we have some St. Michael's uh, um, rings and St. Benedict rings. I'm a Benedictine oblate. We have the exorcism uh, medal of, of, of Benedict that you can wear. I actually use super glue and put it on my motorcycle. Uh, but we have so many cool things there and some great new T-shirts and things too. So go to our website, uh, deepadventure.com, click on the web store and check out our merch. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. Hey, man. 
I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out. Aloha and welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I want to remind people that we have something that is so cool. We've been doing this for over three years now. The Ocean Sunrise Catechism. Wherever I am around the world, uh, I click on, 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 my face, on my Facebook Live from my fan page, Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure fan page. People go and try to friend me and you can't because it's it's, I've maxed out on my friends there. But you can have as many people as you want to follow the fan page. So I, I turn on Facebook Live wherever I am. Usually there's an ocean behind me. Sometimes it's a, a, a temple in Greece, you know, or, or maybe at the Vatican or who knows where I'll be. But behind me, it's usually pretty cool. Sometimes it's just a real dreary uh, hotel uh, lobby. <laughs> but but we try to do, a, a, we do an Ocean Sunrise Catechism every morning. And we've gone through the entire catechism one line at a time, uh, talking and sharing and give, giving anecdotes. But what's so cool about it is you can be a part of it because people tune in every morning and then they start talking with me and with each other and lifting up each other's prayers. So it's just the coolest experience. There's like a community thread there every day where people can uh, talk with each other and pray for each other. So check out uh, the Facebook uh, um, Bear Wazing Deep Adventure fan page. And, uh, and you'll be able to uh, be notified, of, follow us there, and you'll be able to be notified when we pop up live, 7 a.m. bear time. So that means if, it's, if I'm in uh, Hawaii, then it's going to be like maybe noon or 1 o'clock in uh, Eastern time. So we're here, we're talking with David Dawson. Had a privilege of bumping into him. There's a Holy Spirit action plan. Jason Jones and I call it that. Um, I, would, I, brought, I was having a cigar in front of, um, kind of out to the side of the hotel where the EWTN radio conference was and as I was leaving to go have a cigar and read a really cool book I thought I'm going to bring another one just in case a brother shows up and wants to enjoy one and, and Dave and I <laughs> Dave and I uh, you know had a cigar he's I, I don't know I really I can... wanted a cigar <laughs> and he was actually he was actually on a mission to go get a cigar himself I was, going, I was looking for a cigar yes and so Dave <laughs> yeah so Dave was like it's so funny hey Dave this this is this is two very wise guys so so we have that cigar and he goes you know I'm gonna go find the, a cigar bar there's there's a cigar oh. uh, bar here um because I want to uh, watch what was it the World that Series goes. oh yeah, we oh yeah yeah so yeah. so we're getting we're looking at our Google Maps and we'll go well you know there's a mall here we'll go through the mall and then we'll we could see it was pretty close but it looked it the way on map yeah but but <laughs> but by the time we 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 uh went on our I guess you call it the Deep baton, yeah. baton death march. <laughs> it took us about 40 minutes going through the mall or around the mall, outside, one-way streets, walls, buildings in between. We finally got there, and Traffic, we, uh, yes. <laughs> and we, uh, and we uh, enjoyed a, another good cigar together. And there are other guys in there. It was really cool. I just can tell you this. Uh, when we were in there, no one really – there really didn't pay. There was one guy there that I, you know, I kind of said hi to and you know, like, didn't pay me any attention at all. Yeah. But then when we were done, we left, walk outside, and the same guy's getting on this beautiful Eagle motorcycle. Yeah. And I go, man, how long you had that bike? And suddenly he was my, my That's brother. That's right. You guys were brothers. <laughs> yeah, because we had that in common. And, uh, and brotherhood is so important. It's so, uh, so essential <clears throat> that we reach out to each other and build that bond. And we're going to yeah. talk about that a little bit more with Dave. But first, we want to finish the story of, okay. of the little old ladies. I, I hate to call them that, but. No, uh, they well, were wonderful. It, well, how, well, how do you refer to them? They're just uh, my, they're our, my, war, our prayer uh, warriors. My prayer force, yes. Yeah, prayer right. force, grace force. Yes. So they, mean. so yeah, so they they um they pray for they they I know in my ministry, great things happen because I have these women praying for me. But so so go ahead, Dave. So now you you well they they had advised me to plant a uh, miraculous medal and pray, uh at this at the at the property and I was given directions to where the property was and I did that. I, I planted the medal and I prayed. And then I checked with the major company about a week later, and their their price had gone down considerably, but but the numbers still didn't work. It was still way out of our league. Uh, so, and I was disappointed, and I, I had reported to them that it was still it was still just uh, you know t 
too high. But uh, meanwhile, the Catholic Radio Association notifies me that there's an AM station. Due to the hurricanes, they've decided not to, to just go ahead and sell the radio station. I think I was I thought I was already ahead of the game, you know, and saying, OK, well, and they say they said this, 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 the call letters were actually different. So I thought, OK, there's some confusion here. The call letters were WPYR. And I was looking at a radio station called WIBR. And so I thought, OK, obviously there's some confusion here. So I just said, could you send me the coordinates of where the towers are? And they they said uh, they said certainly. And by the way, this station is on the air; it's functioning. And uh, this you you would buy the station outright, uh, property, uh, towers, and all. You know how that worked. So uh, I'm interested, of course, but I, it, it it I I think there was some confusion. So I asked for the coord for the coordinates, and they sent me the coordinates. And of course, with the coordinates comes the street view. Well, I took uh, I, I looked at the street view, and there are the there there are the towers. OK, they were the very towers that I, I prayed at. Hmm. And I said, y'all, there's some I I, typed, I I emailed them back saying there must be some mistake. You know, this is W.I.B.R. And they emailed back saying, no, W.I.B.R. is two miles up the road. So what had happened was I had prayed oh, cool. at the wrong towers. <laughs> at the right towers. The correct towers. At the tower. right towers, yes. And oh, this station wow. was available for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. And you owned it outright, and it was already on the air. Immediately. You own land, you own equipment, you own the building, yes. you own the towers. Yes. Wow. So immediately Praise I God. said yes. And, of course, when you see something like that happen, you don't say no. You say yes. So immediately uh, I began to beg, went around, and uh, found people who believed in us and believed in what we were doing and thus began WPYR and Baton well, Thank Rouge. you to those people so. that said yes. And thank Indeed. you to those people who continue to give to EWTN, to the EWTN affiliates, because remember— EWTN really needs funding. The radio stations need funding. The radio shows themselves that are on, 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 on a lot of the radio shows, shows themselves need funding too. So thank yeah. you for, for giving and making this happen. And then and, and you're on the air. And, you know, it's so cool because right now, those of you who are watching on YouTube, you can see Dave Dawson. You can see a very active radio station, people walking back and forth behind him. And I was just interviewed by you on that station. So, so yes. cool. Hey, but let, let, morning show. let, let mm -hmm. me, let me uh, migrate a little bit with this now, with yeah, this sure. story now, going back to the gentleman in the cigar bar where we, that we met uh, the mo, uh, you know, we went outside and we immediately, he and I became brothers and, and motor and bikers are like that. If you see a biker in trouble on the road, a biker will, will pull over and help the other biker. And when we pass each other on the road, we always wave. And the brotherhood is ba built on basically the fact that of memento more, we know that every moment that we're riding, we remember our death, that it could happen tomorrow. And so we're living in, very, in, a, in a very unusual world, right in the midst of all the other traffic, the bikers uh, live an unusual, you know, unusual life because we're very, always very concerned about people not paying attention. And that's the way Christians are, I think, today, or Catholics are today. It's like... We're on these, these roaring motorcycles, uh, always remembering our death, and the world is passing us by. But mm. you know what? My motorcycle has a loud engine. <clears throat> the reason why is it protects me from be, people know I'm there. We need to rev our engines up a little bit louder as Christians, I think. We need to let people know we're here. We need to let, not just let the world keep passing us by, and we need to communicate to them uh, the good news. And you've got this, this, this group of brothers, too, not unlike... Uh, the closeness I feel with my my band of brothers, my fellow bikers, Knights on Bikes, and the other others that I ride with. Um, you have something called Catholic Man Night. You've developed a brotherhood too. How did that start? And what's and then we'll, when we get back, you can tell us more about that. It was it's, it's the reason why I'm asking oh, this I'm is because I want others to do this too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there there's a need, and there certainly are a lot of needs out there, and uh, God's going to point you to them, and uh, it's just a matter of saying yes. But I was asked to be on a board of uh, 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 to put together something for men, something for Catholic men in the Baton Rouge area, and we call it Men of the Immaculata. And we were going to start this uh, uh, day of retreat, if you will, starting uh, in the morning and uh, uh, having great guest speakers come in, Father Mitch Pacwa, Dr. Brant Petrie, folks like that come in, and we, we prayed. There was, a, there was a dozen of us, uh, and uh, we, we worked on this for quite some time, and what we were hoping for, for this particular church, which sat about 700, we were hoping, let's get 350 people here. Well, uh, word got out about what we were doing, 
And uh, the, when the, the day that it began registration, we, we had already sold about 250 seats. Well, the men kept coming and they kept coming and uh, the day of the event. And we wound up filling the entire church. Well, and that's when we realized this hunger, you know, that's hunger. There. Yeah. Yeah. It's something that the men, had, yeah, you identified a real need. We're talking with Dave Dawson. He's the president and head janitor at Catholic Community <laughs> Uh, radio network. Radio, you got it. Coming out of the yeah. Baton Rouge area and yeah. really enjoyed. By the way, when I bumped into you at the radio conference, I had a great time with you. We had the cigars, but yes. I was like, oh man, okay, we get to hang out more. But I never really had, had even chance but to say hi to you the rest of the event. It was just so Oh, we were so, so busy. busy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But Catholic Man Night grew out of that. And then uh, 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 a wonderful chef here in, in Baton Rouge, well, all of South Louisiana, uh, uh, Chef John Fols said, "I'm offering steaks." Well, let's you okay. Let's together. talk about the importance of steaks when we come yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the Bear Watson Adventure. We'll be right back. Good stuff happens when you support us at patreoncom forward slash Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Watson Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell. Aloha and welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. We want to uh, invite you to be part of, bigger part of what we're doing here at, at the Bear Wozniak Adventure. You can go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become a part of the pack. If you There's different levels of giving, but if you give at the $20, I believe it's the $20 level, you get uh, an all-seasons pass to our Long Ride Home TV show, all of season one, all of season two, and every single new episode as it comes out, the director's cut even before it airs on EWTN, sometimes months before it airs, you get that, that immediately. Plus, you get the Bear Wozniak Adventure, which we record... Most of our shows aren't even released for months to the network. You get those as soon as they're recorded. So we invite you to go to uh, the patreon.com and become a patron. Patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak uh, Deep Adventure and uh, ride with us. We really could use your help. And, and of course, uh, we appreciate all your prayers. We're talking with David Dawson. He's the president of the Catholic Community Radio Network in the Baton Rouge area. Uh, talk to us. I'm going to miss out. You just invited me earlier to come to... Uh, your, um, I believe it's a cigar night and barbecue. Yeah, it's Catholic Man Night, we call it. And yes. that, so that's yes. different than your than your big, um, yeah, conference. So, um, right, right. The, the so, conference wound up growing into like a thousand men a year, and so uh, they, it it has grown a great deal. This is sort of an offshoot, but I like uh, I like this concept even better. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll, and because, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Because this concept of getting together for a barbecue and a and a cigar is mm -hmm. something that people will go to who would never go to a church. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 compelling. It's the the way you compel people to come. Come 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 to uh come and have a cigar and and some barbecue with me on a, on my back deck with a few of the other guys. And 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 there's time for fellowship. There's a guy I know Sean Lynn, he's a burly guy. Um one of Jeff Caven's good friends, part of his his biker pack. And he has a barbecue ministry, dude. Wow. He has this a incredible barbecue, barbecue ministry. ministry. Okay. Yeah, and it's, you, it's really, really true. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of what you're doing. So I, I, we know about men's conferences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Catholic, men's Alliance, Catholic Men's Leadership Alliance. Uh, you can find them on the internet. Uh, they're those. That's where you go, where you find all the leaders of all the men's ministries and conferences gathered together to kind of help you do that. So if you want to do that, that's a good place to go. But tell me a little bit about this barbecue cigar smoke, which I guess I'm going to miss out on because you're doing it while I'm in Hawaii. Yeah, you just told me. I was, I was hoping to get you there. Uh, we, it's, it's, uh, it's, we use the quote by Chesterton that the Catholic Church is like a, a thick steak, a glass of wine, and a good cigar. And it's like, ooh, I, I like that quote a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, decide, we decided to run with it. Uh, we, we promoted it. And once again, just like Men of the Immaculata, it, uh, the, the conference that we were talking about, it grew. And our first year that we had this, we had uh, Coach Joe Lombardi. He is the uh, Saints quarterback coach. Like the Saints need a quarterback coach, you know. But he's the quarterback coach for the Saints, and he came and just talked about his faith life. It was incredible because we had steaks, we had cigars. Okay, so it, it start, what night of the week is it? What time does it start? 
It is a usually a Wednesday or a Thursday night. This year it's going to be a Wednesday night. Next year, I'm sorry, it's going to be a Wednesday night. And uh, it starts and it's like after, a, And it's after um, March it's Madness? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So you make sure it's you squeeze uh, it in after March Madness yeah. <laughs> and before the World Series. Okay. Right, right. Okay. And so we, we, uh, uh, we, we, we get together and we have, you know, again, this, this fellowship that's, that's needed. We see, we see the hunger out there. Well, a wonderful chef in town, uh, I say in town, he's kind of known nationwide as Chef John Fols. Uh He caught wind of it, and he is very alive in his Catholic faith. And he said, we have to do it at my place. And he's got this wonderful plantation here in the Baton Rouge area. And uh, he has a beautiful deck out there, and he has he had offered. He said, "I'm cooking the steaks. You get the men. And we'll have a great time." See, and the that's thing where about grown from the there. thing about this is that this is the genius of this. Like the members of the Bears man cave, a lot of them have their own uh, man caves where they yeah. they don't meet in the church. It's it's important to get people to the church, but the but the first step is just to begin to be a true friend and get to know people and show them what it you know what's happens when you get around a when a, when a, when someone for the first time gets to hang out with a lot of catholic men devoted christians yeah the first thing they notice is that these men are really comfortable with themselves right right they don't they don't seem to have to be something that they're not mm-hmm. they're not talking about how great they are or about work right mm-hmm. they're talking about something entirely different they they have a common mission that's joining them together and they seem to when they Talk about God, it's as if they know him. And that kind of feeling you get in the context uh, of a barbecue, a whiskey, or a beer, McUltra, because I'm, yeah. I'm a keto guy, a ketogenic <laughs> regimen, and, uh, and, uh, and a Mc, McUltra for me, you know. So, so, um, but it's in that context where barriers fall. Yeah. And uh, yeah. one of the testimonies I heard recently was just uh, Father Eric, Caden, I had him on my show, and he said he was out surfing with a guy, and he, and he finally just said, what is it about you? You seem so alive and just so comfortable with yourself, and he said, it's because I have a personal relationship with Jesus. Mm-hmm. So so this this barbecue, don't take it lightly, men, when I say that that uh, that Ryan up there in Canada has a has a barbecue ministry. It's I think it's a significant, a lot of the younger people that I have on, they, they meet at a pub once a week. You know, right. near campus or something. You need to have that, that kind of real environment so you can get real men to come. And then you can take them to a That Man Is You event or to a men's conference. So what am I missing out on at, at, at this? Is it, you, you usually, it's outdoors, it's cigars, it's whiskey, it's barbecue, and you usually have a speaker. Wonderful speakers, wonderful speakers. And these are men who are not afraid to share about their challenges in their life. And immediately, you're absolutely right. You know, uh, other men get together and realize we got a, we got a lot of the same challenges. We got a lot of the same uh, uh, things that that uh, that that bother us, or things that we need, or or things that are just wonderful that in, in our lives. And we realize what all we have in common. We just need to get together and talk about it. And 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 you're absolutely right. It's a lot more than the manly facade. It, there there's something real going on there, and everyone hungers for that. There's a deeper relationship with Christ that these men want, and it comes out. But the speakers that we've had have been wonderful. They have been fantastic. We've had um, we've had one, we've had Father Mitch Bakwa. He came uh, to our last one that we had. He was uh, he had his hunter orange collar on that he was wearing uh, because when and the he comes camouflage. down to camouflage. Well, you know, you yeah. might you, you know if you keep pressing me, you might talk me into coming out there for on the 24th. I might come back from Hawaii for that. It just sounds so so awesome. So cool. 18th. 18th. Mark your calendar. March 18th. So you can see what you're meeting. That's right. That's right. And might, yeah, Father, Father Miss likes to come to Louisiana because this is a hunter and fishing paradise here. Oh, so, I know. Uh, he tells me that I've yeah. been over, been over <laughs> to his house. You know, it's it's so cool to go to his house. Um, yeah. Because the first thing, there's two big things that you experience there, right? Mm-hmm. You see all of the animal heads on the wall, but the thing that really struck me is his library that goes on. It covers all the walls. I you believe know, it. And you ask him, uh, so. What he and he basically has it arranged by topic, which is really the way I have mine, I guess, set up too. It's uh-huh. by topic. This is this is books on the new age, so he can battle the new age teaching. This is the book that the early church fathers wrote about this subject or that subject. And I remember once I asked him, so how do you how do you remember all this stuff? And he says it's the Jesuit way is to read, study the same thing again and again and again from different authors and different views. And I guess that's kind of basically 
uh -huh. the way I approach things. I, I was studying the life of St. Paul now for two years from every kind of author I can find just, mm -hmm. to, study, just to study that man. So, yeah, Fa Father Mitch Packway, he's a real man. You know, I, just, I, 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 really, I really dig him. But um, well, he's, he's the first one to tell me, by the way, that he goes to see you guys. Well, he, he loves he, going he, there fishing and hunting. And, oh, gosh, the stories that he tells about, and he relates them. He relates them to our faith, you know, talking about deer hunting. He has some hilarious stories about that. But uh, he comes down here, he goes, he, well, the last time he was here, he went alligator hunting. And that was, uh, well, you talking about an adventure. I thought usually uh, they, were he, hunting, he, they were hunting you, hunting us, alligators. <laughs> That's, That's a right. I remember when I was I was bicycling across the United States. I, I left San Diego and was going on my way to Jacksonville, Florida, on my bicycle. And I remember when I got in Louisiana, there was these signs. There's yeah, these gator. Yeah, don't 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 feed the gators, which is really like the wrong advice. They should say run for your life. We're talking with exactly. David Dawson, David Dawson, a, f a fellow knuckle dragger, uh, a, me a member of uh, a member of our just a just a rich, close relationship with Dave. The minute I got to spend time with him a couple of weeks ago, we got to spend a little bit more time and just really got to know his love for Jesus, his love for uh, the church, his love for his, his love for his, his, uh, for his Ohana, as we say here, uh, reaching out, the, giving the good news with uh, the Catholic Community Radio Network in, in Baton Rouge. So thank you for joining us. How can people find out more about uh, your ministry if they, they want to? What's the, we the website? Go to ccradio.live, ccradio.live. Everything is everything you need to know is right there. And then we have an app as well, Catholic Community Radio app, That's uh, so to where cool. they can uh, watch watch the videos and, and pretty much do everything. Well, I want to give a shout out to the to the. I, I don't know. I have to have, find a way to say it better, but it's the little ladies that pray. I want to give a yeah. shout out to all of those ladies who prayed for this radio network to that Dave started and the, the, the people with him started and for our own ministry. Thank you so much. This is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We want to remind you to go to deepadventure.com and sign up for our email list. You get so much free stuff when you do that. You get early release of our radio shows and just a lot of content that you won't get anyplace else. It comes out to you weekly. So uh, we'd, we'd love to have you go there. And don't forget, um, every year we'd go out on an ocean cruise retreat. Uh, usually in the first or second week of December, so you can maybe push winter back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we spend four nights or so out on a ship uh, studying the virtues and and uh, uh, going deeper with the Lord and uh, and getting to know each other. So until next week, may the breath of the Holy Spirit aloha you. Aloha! I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.